This is Ryan with GameRoomSolutions.com and today I'm going to walk you through some high level setup in the pinup system, including how I got our new apron screen to work correctly with the menu, help and instruction cards, along with the launch video. Check out the description for more information and let's get started. Okay, I'm not going to go through a ton on um, pinup popper, but I just wanted to go through kind of some of the basics. You'll want to download their baller installer install it it should pretty much install um, everything that you need i just want to talk about some specific settings especially when it comes to the apron here and then also the uh, topper up there so i got the lights off so you guys can see this first things first make sure that you go in just right click and go to your display settings you will have um, all of your monitors line them up like this essentially i have play field back glass dmd apron topper that's how i have it don't worry about the numbers uh, because if they're different that doesn't matter you can just hit identify um again i have uh in this one i have a, a 2080 super graphics card it supports four monitors so i had to also enable my motherboard monitor so i could have that fifth one um, and that's what i'm running to the topper so set that there the other thing is make sure that down here on each one of these it's set to 100%. Make sure it's not set to like 300% by default. I have my play field as my main monitor. So that's uh, step one there. Step two is in your pinup folder, you'll have the menu set up. So you can see here I have the menu set up. I'm just gonna talk through a couple things. First thing I want to go through is the screens and theme. I, well, I guess technically you can go to their themes page. They have a themes page and I use this one right here because I get a 4K monitor the T-Bar theme option three. I downloaded that and I just hit install theme and it'll install it and that's that's gonna give me the one where it's the straight to go across the apron right here uh, for my wheel. But just to talk a little bit through this, so when I go into that setup, the menu setup, sorry, that's focusing crazy. I'm gonna first start with screens and themes and it'll ask you some of this uh, when you're doing the initial setup. So this is how I have mine set up. So the topper, I'm going to force it on, meaning I want it on all the time. Uh, the DMD, force pop, back glass. So you can see there my settings, how I have them. The flyer info and help, I have force pop back. I'll show that in a minute. The wheel bar, I have six. The other thing on the wheel bar here, basically that six, that's the top number. Mine shows up as my six, the monitor on here. You'll have to kind of play with that, but it's six at the top. It's basically your coordinates, so zero, zero, and then 100, 100, which means, hey, take the menu, put it on this monitor, and spread it all the way across the monitor 100%. So that's how I have mine for the ape and how I got it on a different screen. So you can do the zero, comma, zero, comma, 100, comma, 100, and just start changing that first number until you get what you want. Uh, of course, you can go into configure displays here. This will pull it up. So my topper, you can see there, it's set up to my topper. So you can drag this stuff around how you need it. I do my DMD smaller because I do the full DMD uh, picture around it so that sets within it. Um, so on and so forth. So you guys can see. Um, the other one, this game select, even though that's not, uh, that's not the menu that I could tell, but I had to have that as show always on and I did it as my apron and it seemed like that's what kind of got me where I needed to be. So that's just another little thing to look out for. Um, so you can see that there. This is all the screens that it sees. So like nine and 10 would be your flyer and your help. So another thing I wanna show you here. So if I go to emulators, and then I go to Visual Pinball X, for instance. This is one I've been working on first. These are the screens I wanna always keep on, zero, five, nine, and 10. So um, you can see there, my topper, always keep it on. So that means basically when you boot into that emulator, Keep the topper on. Five is my menu. And then my flyer info and help. And I'll show you guys why. The other thing I did here is in the global config. And again, this is for the apron. I went to game wheelbar and this is my settings. I did change this around some. But essentially the width and the height of the thumbnails. I said, give me all five of them. Zero on the margin, zero on the wheel arc. This was important, the fade out in five seconds. And I'll show you why and then horizontal here. But basically I set all of this and hit reset all thumbs so it recreates them. Um, so I'll hit save there. And I'm gonna exit and launch and just kind of show you guys this for a second. 
So you can see how it boots up. See how nice and big those are? Um, I have my keyboard over here. I'm oh, sorry, where you guys can see it. it. Fades after five seconds. So what I'm gonna do, you can see there also my topper. Everything's working as I expect. Um, but what I'm gonna do is go to visual pinball. Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm using my keyboard still right here. So what I wanna show you guys is like, for instance, if I go to 24, you can see there, it's got the help and the menu in the background and then after five seconds it fades, so that's all there is. And when I boot the game, this stays here. So I told it to stay turned on, but the menu goes away. So you can see there that everything all the way up to the topper is working how I need. And then when I boot into the game, the topper will keep going, the backlash stays there. Uh, this DMD, full DMD will stay here, but the actual DMD for the game will come in there. Oops, I gotta, I haven't secured that all the way in yet, but uh, yeah, so the game DMD will come here, but this will stay on. This changes to the one for the table. That top will stay on. Obviously the table will change to the actual table and these help menus will stay right there. So that's how awesome that is. All right, so I've been doing a little bit more with this apron screen messing around just to kind of show you guys. This will kind of explain some more of the basics on how things work. So I went into the popper setup, screens and themes, and then I didn't like how those um, the flyer and the help was looking. So I decided, well, I'll put some in the other folder and put it down there, and I ended up liking it. So instead of doing the other, because I didn't want it to show up behind my menu, I just put it as the loading screen. So you can see there, Screen seven, I did force pop, it's a loading screen, and I put in the same coordinates that I have for the um, for the menu, which is essentially this screen and full screen there. So screen six, start at zero, zero at the top coordinates and then stretch it 100 by 100. So, and then I went into my configured displays, I turned off my game info and help, I went to loading, and you can see there, show always on, and you can see it fills up that screen. So I'm good to go there. Um, in my pinup system media folder, what I did is for example, in Visual Pinball X, I went down and in the loading, I found some videos on the internet that are pretty cool. So you can see there, here's these videos. Um, they're not topper videos. They say they're topper videos, but they're different than the topper videos I already have, so it worked pretty good. Um, so I did the visual pinball, future pinball, and pinball X. Just put those in the in the folder. What I also did is in the default folder, in loading, I added this PL, so playlist underscore pinball FX3, and a visual pinball X. So that way I have some default ones in case um, in case I don't have the ones that actually for the ROM, which there was quite a few I didn't. I also went into the same thing for the. Um, uh, for the menu here, just to add, I'll have to add the uh, pinball FX, but that way, the full DMD, that's what that is. So if I shut all this down, um, all right, let me shut it down. Let me start my popper. Some of these screens, since I have so many open, they might come over top of my table, but this is just to show you guys. So, okay, so topper. Yeah, there's a screen. Let me see if I can fix that real quick to minimize it but either way so you guys can see all of that's working I can come here I can start changing things so instead of this fading away which I guess technically I could have it fade away and show the uh, cards and then do the loading screen separate but I can and I if I leave it like this I'll turn this off where these won't fade at all they'll just stay on uh, until I boot into a table so you can see here I have my Everything's playing. This is Pinball FX3. So as I change tables, everything changes. All the light sequencing, all of that. So what I want to show you here is I went ahead and hit start, and I am going to um, play game. And this is what I want to show you so you can see that. So that's a new loading screen. I told it to go ahead and leave that screen on. So even when the table's booted, you can see I got my full table. Um, Topper. Got all my lights working again. So let me back out of that real quick. I'll go ahead and boot into another one just to show you. I have all of them were there for the uh, FX3. So 
doesn't really matter. So let's boot another game here. As you can see there, that's a really cool effect. It's loading up the screen, of course, and then has everything else going here. So I can continue to start a new game. I don't care. So I'm going to exit out. And what I want to do real quick is just show you guys. Um, let's say I go into, we'll go into Visual Pinball. I'm going to hope I pick a table that I don't have one for. So we'll pick like this 4x4. Four four. Maybe I don't have that. So I'll hit play. So you can see there, that's the generic one. So if it doesn't have one, it's just loading that up for Visual Pinball X, which is really cool. And it also has the generic BMD there. It does have a topper, so. Anyways, it's a little bit more set up with the apron there.